What is up, YouTube? It is, uh, I spent so long I forgot my name. Uh, it is Sakeshire coming at you again. Um, now, I've done some flip flopping of my channel. Uh, it started off as, if for those of you who have been long enough, started off as a Nerf channel. Um, did some minor mods. I, I don't want to talk about it. That was a different era of Nerf. Uh, we are in a whole nother stage now. Um, I moved on to some uh, more anime reviews, uh, kind of like some Beatamon, uh, Gundam, some Mega Man, um, toys I love, videos aren't that good, that's about what's on me, um, but uh, back into Nerf again, uh, not that I really left Nerf, I've always been collecting, I've always thrifted Nerf, I've always kind of picked up the new um, flagship blasters here and there, just you know, haven't really gone too far with uh, with my Nerf community uh, until I tried selling some Nerf guns on uh, excuse me um, Nerf by Trade Sell on Facebook. Um, then I had a local guy come to my house page. If if you're watching this, if you're in the Nerf community, you probably know Page. You know Nerf Turf. He he's running Nerf Turf right now with uh, with Evan and. He, yeah, it's just I'm gonna name drop right now. I'm I'm friends with Paige, personal friends. Well, I know, I know, I'm cool. It's all good. Uh, but he's gotten me back into Nerf, uh, and since then I've actually, if you can't hear it or if you can't see it right there, uh, I've picked up 3D printing as well. I've got my Anat A8 right here with the AMA conversion metal brackets. Not that you really care. Back there, if you can hear it, I actually have a. Um, Mono Price Mini Select V2 uh, running in that cabinet. Uh, it's actually printing out an upgrade for this bad boy right now. And so, the um, whole point of this channel, Nerf 3D, boom. Haven't seen many of them uh, out there, personally. Uh, so, what I aim to do, uh, I aim to 3D print some things, show you what they do, how they work, this, that, and the other thing, and... You know, there's nothing more frustrating to me as a consumer than going on Thingiverse or some other sites or checking out some 3D printing Facebook groups and just seeing pictures of them. Either whether they be like pictures on Cura or Simplify 3D or Slicer or anything like that. Uh, just, you know, the computer versions, which is okay, but you don't really see what it looks like. Or if it's just a basic picture of something on a blaster or just sitting on a table. You still don't get the real feel, and that frustrates me because I'll see some grips, I'll see some, you know, sights, I'll see something really awesome, but I don't know what it looks like on a blaster. So, what I aim to do, you know, just between me and you, uh, I, I I aim to go bring you through the three D printing process uh, to an extent, depending on what you guys like. Uh, you know, we'll touch base here and there, see see what uh, what really works, but maybe, you know, a time lapse of the three D printing process. Um, maybe cleaning it up, maybe not, because who really cares about that stuff? And then what it looks like on the blaster, how it functions, pros, cons, compatibility, stuff like that. I think that is something this community needs, and I just want to throw this out there right now. I personally do not make any sort of profit off this. These videos are not monetized as of right now, nor will they be. Uh, any money I make off of anything um, goes directly... Um, I do share with the creator. I uh, just want to throw that there right now. I have a, a truce. I have a partnership. Partnership, that's the word. Uh, with Blaster Forge. Uh, P E? I don't know. Blaster Forge. Um, where I actually, he gives me files. I sell them and, uh, or the products, and we share the money because that's a partnership's work. In fact, um, PH, Blaster Forge PH. Um, my personal strife that I'm working on right now, uh, part of my uh, Lantern Corpse Spectrum Blasters, uh, involves a uh, Vector Magwell. Um, vectors are a little overrated right now, I, I, I agree. Um, they're everywhere, but I do love this Magwell, um, especially paired with something from another, one of my first um, Thingiverse follows, uh, was it Sonic, oh... Wow, how am I, 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 I don't know why I'm uh, blinking, but 
Uh, short barrel. He made a uh, uh, M14, something like that. Uh, this is a short barrel along with uh, his version of the worker barrel adapter. Um, wow, his name is going to bug the heck out of me. Uh, so don't mind if I... So Ultrasonic. Ultrasonic 2. Um, I do apologize. Um, this is, these are his parts. Um, throw some credit out to him because he makes some amazing stuff. And it's just part of my Frankenstein of a blue blaster. Um, just saying. Um, but yeah, that, that's... that's I, I've rambled on enough. Uh, if you watch my videos before, you know I tend to ramble. That's kind of a little fave blood in me. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just let me know if you guys are interested in this. Um, in fact, that right there, if you can see that orange piece right there, is a long shot hulker kit uh, stock. And there's actually a strife I'm working on, uh, which is also a hulker kit uh, with the, uh, the butt on it, which is just made up of old uh, or ending PLA rolls that I have. Uh, so it's just multicolors everywhere, and I'm going to give it a special paint job. But that's neither here nor there. And um, sorry, now I'm just distracted by everything in my room right now. Uh, please let me know what you think of this idea. It's something I plan on running with. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. As well as drop down in the comments and let me know some things you'd like me to review, some things you'd like me to print, some things you'd like me to talk about. Because... I'm more than willing to do that. Uh, the hardest thing about coming back into YouTube is ideas and how to start it off, figuring out what you guys like. So if you could just tell me some things you'd like to see, that would be amazing. And one thing uh, in the Nerf community that I posted recently in the Nerf Modders Welcome Facebook page uh, was this tax sack. So if you recognize this tax sack, that is my Facebook page that has posted this. I did not make this famous. Uh, in fact, there, I guess there's not all the many comments and follows on it, but this has gotten a lot of uh, a lot of hits. Uh, I've gotten a lot of um, personal people coming out to me asking for some of these. So, uh, do I even have anything around to use? This is embarrassing because I am not prepared. And speaking of Frankenstein of a blaster, this is my uh, full auto strife that is just made up of reject parts. Tack sack. Blaster. Balls. Um, surprisingly comfy. Uh, if interested, I can do a um, review of this at one point. Uh, but my point being is that if I get some... Uh, if there's an interest in this channel, I would be more than willing to do some giveaways of these because these are really fun prints to do, uh, really fun to see on the battlefield, and there's nothing more fun than just running into battle screaming, playing with your balls. I mean, let's be real. Ah! Sorry, squeeze a little too hard. Uh, but anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you are anticipating my comeback because it's something I've wanted to do for a while, being a stay-at-home dad. Um, so... Let me know what you guys think. Um, please, good comments only. This is YouTube, I know. No good comments are allowed. Uh, so, yeah. Um, they'll go with these goodbyes. So, thank you guys so much for watching this far into the video because I ramble once again. And, um, yeah, hope to see you around.